Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, there's going to be a lot more reads coming out. I do feel like I'm going to be going like up to seven a day is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Maybe the Zodiacs as well, individually. So that would be 12 within a few days of each other. But anyways, this is Urgent Messages for the Collective. So it is a general read. It is technically pertaining to all signs. Um, it could be pertaining to your past, your present, or your near future. And also it could be talking about not just you, but energies and people around you, okay? So let's see what we have for the collective here. The Wheel of Fortune. I'll put that up here. Actually... I gotta do something real quick. I'll be right back. So I just moved the camera up, but you can still see my stars over here. I'm very well aware that this does not match. 111 on the timer, as I say that. <laughs> Anyways, you can't see this, but it is black with orange dots. So we're getting in the Halloween fall spirit, right? Yeah? I love it. And I just have a lot of stuff on this side, so I didn't feel like taking all that time to take it off and put it back on. Yeah, I was being lazy. Anyways, I guess it probably doesn't matter to you. I'm probably pointing this out because it matters to me, and I'm making myself feel better. Alright, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, ups and downs, definitely. Taking a chance, it's time to roll the dice. I've had entirely too much caffeine today, too. Okay. Let me focus the brightness, because it is pretty bright. Alright, well, that'll be okay for a little while. Alright, what other cards do we have? Let me get more clarity cards here. Two more cards. Angel Spirits and Guides. Thank you. The Page of Swords. Studying, learning, new ideas coming to you also. Opportunities, doors opening, windows opening. <laughs> Maybe you need to open a window. Oh, when you smudge your sage, it's good to turn off all the fans and the AC. So it's not, you know, being blown about out of the space where you're trying to sage. And um, to oh, crack a window. Um... In the middle of saging or before or even after so the negative energy if it's an, any negative energy that wants to escape can leave okay queen of cups surrender surrendering you guys that's what's needed right now you they just need you to completely surrender to your path surrender over your worries cares concerns fears Okay, that's too many cards, but I think we're going somewhere else here. On the bottom of the deck, I have four of wands. Yeah. Coming out. Okay, not giving a shit what's going on over here, right? Doing our own thing. Worrying about us. Worrying about you. I say us because it's a collective read. Are you noticing geometric symbols or like triangles quite a bit? Oh guys, I have to share this with you. Hold on, let me get my pen and paper. So over the years I had always doodled, right? I'm a doodler. And the symbols that I would doodle is this. I would doodle a spiral and I would also do this. Okay, it turns out these symbols are one symbol and it's called a unilome. I just found this out yesterday. Holy cowabunga dude. Okay, um, God or goddesses, Buddhism, India, Lakshmi, Ganesh, 
all of those are coming to mind. And this was a prominent symbol for one that was like the third eye. He was known for his third eye. And he had other names. But anyways, it's called a unilome. Unilome. U-N-A-L-O-M-E. So, okay. This being said, if there are things that you doodle all the time, I know my mom, she used to always doodle like a little flower when she was on the phone with someone. And I'm not sure if there was anything else she would doodle, but that's just an example. So I would definitely look up the symbolism to those doodles that you subconsciously do, okay? shuffle what do we have here are we going to clarify these cards we have cornucopia card number 11 woman holding coin 42 or number six and then we have yin yang mmm yeah, y'all been balancing the masculine and feminine energies within you. If you were male, you were probably uh, balancing the feminine energy. If you were female, you might be doing a bit of both, but more masculine. The masculine energy has to do with action. Getting up and moving and doing. And the feminine is more like the calm and the hearing things out and seeing truth. Could have other meanings for you as well, but let me. Surrendering to this process, y'all. 22 and 11, very master numbers, so you might want to look that up. Abundance, very good things, but let's see what the keywords here are for it, okay? Wishes fulfilled under the, the uh, will of fortune. <clears throat> a woman holding coin signifies a female connection in money, health, or value. Passive, active, intuitive, and logical. Yeah. The male masculine energy is passive and active. And the female energy is intuitive and logical. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all are healing. Some of y'all are healing at night in your sleep states and your dream states. And you might not be able to remember your dreams. We have taking action on the bottom of the deck. So taking action at this time is needed for something. Whatever you're wanting to venture towards business-wise. So uh, taking the cookies as they fall or crumble or taking it as it falls. I don't know. I don't know what that's trying to come through. Not forcing it. Going with the flow and taking it as it comes to you. If there's something crumbling, you know, you're doing better at to uh, accepting it and going on and being like, okay, well, that happened. Let's do better next time. See what kind, what you learned from it, what, what you learned from that mistake. And being more prepared mentally and emotionally other things until you get the hang of the manifestation thing. What else do we have for the collective? Angel spirits and guides that come from the highest truth and compassion to serve our highest truth and compassion. Whoa. Okay. We're going to go with that one that flipped over. You're going through an awakening. You're having energetic upgrades. A new way of being. 
an integration. You feeling sleepy or super, super um, pumped, uh, especially at night. 959 was on the timer whenever I say that. Um, if you're, you know, achy, nauseous, dizzy, lightheaded, not feeling yourself, kind of almost feeling like it's an out of body thing. Yeah. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking things and keep facing your true north. So that's confirmation for, for somebody. And we have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. It's a time of healing, mending, releasing, and it has been for a long time, but okay. I'm gonna be a broken record on that shit because I don't know. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So whatever you're needing help with, don't feel like you're alone in it and that you don't have any help. Maybe you don't know how to ask for help and what you need help in. And you don't have to you don't know how to voice and verbalize what exactly you need help with or why you need help with it. Min Mintaken, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So if you've been longing for home and like feeling like you want to go home but you don't know why like you're like wait, wait I'm at my house I am home well no okay it's 3 13 right now actually anyways I had to throw that out there all right guys can you slow down a bit and just help me out here with getting this message through thank you you don't feel like you belong here on earth you don't feel like you belong anywhere any even the place the physical place that you call home you don't feel like you belong there. You don't feel like yourself. But this is what you're going through. An awakening. Your soul is awakening. Your DNA is awakening. Your spirit. And you're integrating with your mind, body, and emotional and mental states. Woo! Ooh, it's gonna, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay, okay? Really. And you're going to come out better than ever before. It's happening for you, not to you, okay? You you decided to go through this and have this happen at this specific time. And you volunteered to come back to Earth to help humanity. You know what's going on in the world right now. You know this shit's fixing to go down and they're fixing to start like mandatory bullshit upon people, right? It's all part of a master plan though is what I'm hearing. Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Oh my God. I was basically, like I was getting to that, but we were just talking about humanity, right? Oh goodness. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. Also, I'm very open to giving anybody a personal read. I am not here for monetary gain. I am here to simply hold the light and spread the love for you and help you and be of service to you, okay? So don't... Don't be scared to reach out. What else do we have for them? What else do they need to know, see, or hear right now? We're going to go with these battery messages. Mm, I got a hot flash too. Hold on a moment, please. Look at my pretty little fan. Isn't it cute? Dollar Tree. I got a lot of teal going on here. I'm wearing a teal colored shirt. There's teal here. My fan's got dark teal. I've got a sign over here that says teal. I wonder what the spiritual meaning of teal is. Holy cow. So I had to pause it and I had to freaking Google the spiritual meaning of teal. And oh my gosh, as I look over here, there's teal. You can't see it. Teal. Wow. Okay. So it says... Teal combines the calming properties of blue with the renewal qualities of green. It is a revitalizing and rejuvenating color that also represents open communication and clarity of thought. For Tibetan monks, teal is symbolic of the infinity of the sea and sky while it is the color of truth and faith for Egyptians. That's so awesome. Okay. All right, I'll stop wasting your time. Sorry. Get on with the messages here. I don't know about y'all, 
but the number four has been very significant to me here lately. Uh, I've seen off the number 44 quite a bit. I have 44 YouTube subscribers right now, and I catch the time always at like 144, 1244. See a license plate with 444. I think there's some more. Okay, that's it. On the bottom of the deck, I have do some research. And there was a card here. Someone was holding a book open. I didn't imagine that. Let's put all this right here. Maybe you're needing, wanting to do more research on Pleiadians or Lumerians or Atlantis. Right here. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. So I had this message for myself not long ago for my spiritual abilities. In doing this and learning to read really in depth and be like on point and hear the communication and the messages that are coming to me from spirit okay because this is how that's how I read it my higher self and my spirit team healing healed healer healing energy surrounds you and this situation it's happening for you not to you Validation from what I was saying earlier. You're going through healing. We all are going through healing right now. Debt paid off. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted, lifted from you in your life. So this could be actually pertaining to income debt. But also I feel like it's karmic debt. Your karmic debt. You have done, paid your dues. It is done. It is done. It is done. Now it's good to bring in happy, positive abundance. Okay. Goodbye to the old and hello to the new. You've finished one part of your life and now a new one. Now a new and even better part is beginning. That's basically what I was just saying, right? Coming in and bringing in. You'd paid your dues and now the good stuff is coming. You're just starting. You're just starting to fucking live your life. Me too. Me too. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. And get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. And an upcoming trip could prove to be life-changing in positive ways for some of you. A dietary change. You're starting to implement fruits and veggies into your diet and be more mindful of what you're putting in there. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. Also, moving for some of you. Moving in is a step in the right direction for you. Moving up, moving jobs, switching careers, quitting your job moving out of somebody else's house and your son is watched over and protected as he explores this new world now okay mm, 18 18 on the timer and <laughs> have faith as everything is working in your favor your desire is within reach that was a lot of messages for y'all You made a promise to yourself in coming back to this earth to serve your soul mission and your soul purpose. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to you and every other area of your life right now. Uh, yeah, there's a deepening, an expansion. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. And we said this card earlier. I felt like that was surrender. That was depicting surrender. Oh, I love it for you. I love it. You <laughs> are on it. You are on it. You're doing good. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you've overcome. All of it, y'all. All of it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of myself, too. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. 
going through a sense of detachment, dropping the illusions, surrendering and being open to receiving that divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. This is saying when you offer everything with detachment, <laughs> we have the detachment card. You're taking right action. You're on the right path. Let everything wants to that wants to go simply go, and everything that wants to come come. I chase. I hold on. You can repeat this mantra. I do not chase. I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me in divine timing. All right. Well, that's all I have for that. On that note, okay. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. As we're ending this, it's three twenty-three and hit the like subscribe and share buttons if you don't mind until next time loves love and light